if you were to get with a hundred different traders and ask them, what are your favorite different indicators? I think a hundred out of a hundred would tell you one of them is definitely the MACD. Hey everybody, Steven Sitkowski here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer and Co-Founder at Market Mastery Group. We are dedicated to educating investors and traders on how to be able to trade both stocks and options. We wanna show you how to be able to make money regardless of whether the market goes up, down, or sideways. So I am doing a series on technical analysis. Technical analysis is really the art of reading a chart. And in this particular video, I wanna to talk to you about um, maybe the most popular of all the technical indicators. And that is the MACD. So first of all, MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. That's a mouthful. Basically, it compares um, two different moving averages to one another and contrasts it to a third moving average. So you take the 12-day exponential moving average, you subtract from it the 26-day exponential moving average, and then you compare that to the nine-day exponential moving average. And the good news is you don't have to do any of the math. The math is all done for you. And the thing that we're gonna be paying particular attention to in this class is the histogram. And I'm gonna show you a live chart here, just a minute, and how we use the histogram. It gives us a visual depiction of whether or not we have a bullish or a bearish trend and is that trend accelerating? Is it getting stronger or is it beginning to weaken? So it's a trend strength indicator. So blank slate, this is simply a candlestick chart and the length of time that is covered here is six months. So with a MACD, a MACD, Notice over here it says indicators. So it talks about upper indicators and lower indicators. Lower mean it comes below the chart. You do not superimpose a MACD over a candlestick chart. So I'm gonna put the MACD on. And this is the standard setting. I already told you about this. The shorter term period is 12. Longer term is 26. These are both exponential. And then we have the signal line, which is the nine days. So let's add this to our chart. And you will find it down here. I'll even get rid of volume. So all we have is a chart and a MACD. Okay. Now, this, you, you'll notice there are two lines here. Um, the, the lighter one is... That's the MACD line. Um, and then we have the, uh, the signal line. But you don't need to worry about that. Just focus, see in the center? Uh, over here, it was not very definitive, was it? All right, barely green, barely red. But notice here, it got very red. So what is that an, 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 an indication of? That this stock is headed lower. And you'll notice whenever there is a crossover, if it is to the downside, you get a little dart that is red. If it is to the upside, you get a dart that is green. So I, I would assume during this period of time, stock was going lower. During this period of time, stock was going higher. All right, well, let's see how well that would have worked out for us. So this is the overall stock market. This is the SPY. And notice, let's set our line right here, and then just kind of move up. Wow. Right there, the MACD turned red. If you'd have gotten out when the MACD turned red in, in um, February when the market started going lower, you wouldn't have lost any money. Where did the MACD turn to green? Right here. 
and it's been going up ever since. Huh. How about if we look at Apple? Okay, so the MACD was green. Apple was moving up. When did the MACD turn red? Right here. It kind of went sideways, then it fell out of bed. Right? Stayed red for a while, then the MACD again turned green and it went higher. How about the T triple Qs, which is something that I trade. Um, it's a leveraged way of trading the Qs. So right here, MACD turned green, Qs went up. Let's see when it turned red. Up here, just on that little thing, but then it went higher. So there is nothing in the world of technical analysis that works every single time, but then it turned green again. Okay. Then look at that deep red effort and that stock fell. And then back in here. So what do you notice on the MACD now? It is green, but barely. So you can see during these periods, the divergence between the MACD line and the trigger line, right? They were getting wider and wider apart. So that, that bearish momentum was growing. It was a perfect time to jump in and take a bearish trade. Same thing here, look at how the upward momentum is growing. See how that works? The MACD. So I think that if you were to get with a hundred different traders and ask them, what are your favorite different indicators? I think a hundred out of a hundred would tell you one of them is definitely the MACD. Does all of its work on the moving average video that I did for you. We talked about comparing shorter term to longer term. The MACD does all of that work for you. And then it presents it in that beautiful histogram. Green and growing, great bullish momentum. Red and growing to the downside, great bearish momentum. And if you stick with us and you learn how to do options as well as stocks, on these stocks that are going down, you can actually make more money than when they're going up. Why? Because stocks go down faster than they go up. So if you'd like to learn to be a more skilled trader, a couple times a week I do uh, free webinars. If you'd like to be a part of that, just click on the link below. Give us some basic information, register. We'll send you out an invite and a reminder, and I hope to see you there. Till next time, God bless everyone.